What up, though, Boogie? We are back for another dope ass episode of Late Night with Nate and Adrian. I'm your boy, Nate Galloway. I'm Adrian Brandyberg. Stolen the obligatory bombs here, podcast bombs. Shout out to the No Sleep crew. We appreciate you for checking in. Like, subscribe on all your podcast platforms. Boogie! Tis How I. you doing? Man, my alarm just went off just to remind my ass to get my ass up. It's time to record. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm I'm feeling good. Feeling great. Uh had another uh interesting weekend per year. Oh. I but, love your weekend updates. Yeah. You know, real quick, but no. It no, I'm I'm feeling good. My week's been great trying to get all the the vitamin D, all the sun out here. Uh, okay. and enjoy this uh, clearly global warming climate that we're, we've been having. <laughs> 70 degrees in November. <laughs> Yo, this shit's scary. It's like scary, but also like, hey, you want to go out? Let's go. Let's go out yeah. somewhere. <laughs> it's like, we can't do shit about it. <laughs> we really can't because at this point, we have told the earth yeah, we don't give a fuck about you, buddy. And she has told us, okay, I'm about to fry y'all asses. <laughs> a word? I, I, I. She's doing the uh, the Birdman hand rub. She's like, in about 20 years. <laughs> Got something for y'all, nigga. She's like, so you know what this makes me think? All those people who are on National Geographics with those uh, bunker, those oh conspiracies. It, makes, it yeah. makes me think those people might have been on to something. They were just like, 30 years too soon you know (laughs) it's like yeah you know but you know that generally happens when you come up with an idea that is not part of the the flock then people just go crazy so you know it makes me wonder also if like the people who keep making like the walking dead and these other the world is ended movies like are y'all prepared like do y'all have a place to go y'all just like oh let me crank this shit out from my bunker like you know how does that work That's a good question. A lot of, you know, a lot of creatives, I, we, we love the areas, the dimensions, the realms, the worlds that, you know, our art, our artistry goes to. But sometimes I'd be thinking when I watch certain movies and TV shows, I'm like, yo, what, what do you know (laughs) (laughs) that, that clearly <laughs> the government or whomever is not telling us. You know, it's it's the remember that text that people was getting like, yeah, my cousin in the Pentagon. You know, when COVID was first going on, yeah. it makes you wonder, just like Hollywood and the government, like y'all are working hand in hand. You know, it's like it really is a cousin in the Pentagon. Yeah, some you know? something ain't quite right. <laughs> it's just not adding up to me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but how are you this week? I am doing good. You know, I, I can't complain. You know, I um, I try to learn new things. You know, okay. we're always learning, Boogie. Okay. So, you know, this week I have been uh, learning to roll a joint. You know, I have been learning how to roll. You know, wait, wait, I, I'm wait. a... What? <laughs> wait a second. This is throwing me off right now. Wait, wait. wait. The, the king of doobies... Yes. Right here. <laughs> Has not rolled his own joint. Like, clue me in right now. Right now. So I buy pre-rolls. Oh. You know, I buy the cones. You know, I stuff my own. Or, you know, I have like a bong. You know, I have pipes. Those types of things. Oh, so you, I'm, I've always... You're an upper echelon uh, smoker. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a little bougie. I'm a little bougie with mine. You know. So I was just like, let's, let's be a little bit cleaner. You know, we're still unhealthy with the smoke. But let's be a little cleaner because, you know, the pipes, you know, they carry a lot of germs and stuff. So let's, let's be clean with the smoke. And I was like, I know it's the most ass backwards thing, but it works in my mind. I was like, OK, cool. So I, I've been like watching videos on YouTube. There's everything on YouTube, like on yeah. videos on how to roll a joint. And it has been the most frustrating yet relaxing process at the same time i wish i had pictures to show you because Oxymoron. some of these it is some of these pictures have been like the worst joints ever smokable but they are just like 
Did you roll this with your feet? That's what it looks like. But the last couple of days, I have gotten better. I have been putting out quality joints. I've sent these to some of my homies that, that are smoking. It's like, oh, like your skills, like practice makes perfect. So I'm just in here like with the rolling papers and just, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm going to learn. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm going to learn. So you licked some some uh some joints and sent them to your friends for them to to, to critique. critique yeah i was like how do these look i mean obviously they, they wasn't like covered in saliva or anything you know but I, i've i've learned because you know i did get the did they know, smoke I, it did they smoke no i mean i i ain't like i smoked them but i you know i'll be oh shy. you sent them pictures yeah yeah oh, i sent okay. them pictures you know oh, I, I, uh, okay 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 I, I'm just weird. I'm weird about sharing saliva. Oh yeah. Um, nah. See, if it's like if I know the homies is coming through, I'll pack like pre rolls because I I understand as well. But since it's just me, okay. you know, I'm You're licking it down. Yeah, and I'm not like too much because you know if you do too much, you know it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work. But okay. you know, <laughs> so I, I got I got the rolls. Okay. I got the rolls down, and I'm proud of myself. You know, and I'm gonna keep That's going. Up. I'm trying to be on Snoop's blunt roller level where I'm just cranking them out, you know, like three or four a day. But I'm you know, they, you you should be proud of yourself, you know, knowing that you know there are actual joint roller contraptions. The fact that you want to go into the clean route and do it via hand, that's pretty impressive. You know, I, I'm makes you, you know what it makes me feel like a real man. Like a, a, you know, like back in the day, like you know, like the black cowboys when they would just be out there, you know, like with the tobacco, it really makes you feel like you are one with the ancestry. It's just like, yeah, like I did this, and it's a little bit cheaper. It's a little bit cheaper. Is it than buying the than buying the cones? You the know, like, yeah, the, the cones are are hella convenient. I, after after like messing up like the first three papers, I was like, ugh rip this up and redo it i was like i think i'm gonna go back to the cones but then i was like you know what nate relax Take and by the fourth time yeah. i got it so That's what's up. Look at but, you. Uh, speaking of ancestors boogie i saw black panther or oh. i could say uh wakanda's forever okay um uh and I gotta say, it was it's a five black thumb rating for me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. You know, I don't normally my last black thumb rating was for the woman king because it was that good. Mm -hmm. This movie, I'm not giving no spoilers, but Black Panther 2 or Wakanda Forever, excuse me. I'm always gonna call it Black Panther 2. Yeah. Wakanda Forever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we always gotta make up our own name. We got our own name for everything. We do. House of Dragons uh, is one. But uh it was a dope ass movie, man. Okay. And some of the think pieces that are out here. I'm like, niggas, are we watching the same movies? Because did you feel like it was too long? No. Um, I didn't. Um, I did not at all. Um uh let me think here i didn't think it was too long at all i um it was like it was almost three hours but it could have I, I thought i i wish there was a little bit more in there but i understand that they're coming back for another one so okay. i'm okay with where they left it at um shout out to kugler i know it was definitely difficult um uh for um for everyone to work under that type of pressure okay um also um because um they had to rewrite the whole movie you know because yeah. they wrote the first one with like chadwick was you know in the movie so yeah. that's got to be extreme i mean you know boogie being a writer yourself how difficult that is to write a concept and then have to yeah. go back and redo it yeah so to see them put it all together it was just amazing the colors like man it was just so so vibrant um and the one thing that um i don't know the colors were vibrant they almost had me they almost had me i almost i almost shed a tear i, I did not i did not shed not one okay but you know how like when they go through um like the marvel town, the village. In, the, in the beginning they'll yeah. do like the marvel and they'll have like the montage of like all of the the figures yeah like 
they had that I was like, ooh, this is where you're gonna get me because they were showing pictures of Chad. It kind of like when Stan Lee passed and Iron Man yeah. passed. That I felt it. I, I was like, ooh, the heartstrings. Um, but it was dope. And I'm gonna go see it at least three more times because I know up. I missed some things, but yeah. I think everyone should go see it. Everyone who's hating on the movie, shut up. Because it was dope. Yeah. Yeah, I saw some mixed reviews, uh, but, you know, people have to take it for what it is. Like, stop, stop adding. We, we always want perfection and, and double, you know, double uh, action packed. And this shit was <laughs> three hours. Literally, I went at 6.05 and I came out. I was like, God damn, it's like 9, almost 9.30. Yeah, the like, the, the seasons on? have changed, okay? Because you went in during the day and it, it is now... <laughs> it's night. <laughs> mid after, late afternoon. <laughs> it's <laughs> Evening time. Okay? It was, um, it, it was, it was I, I still got the same same excitement that i got from good. the first one good. obviously or not obviously i'm going to say the first one is is slightly better of course but they're both very very good stories and i i, I can't wait to see what they do to keep elevating mm. um this story uh, my last question did they have a special extra whatever scene at the end of the movie yes you do need to stay um Till the end until the final final credits because there is a uh this is, this is a very good scene at the end i'm not going to tell you what okay. it is yeah but it I, is yeah. it's very good yeah um there was a lot of people there was there was a white lady sitting beside me she was crying she was crying and like the the opening scene she's oh my god this is so beautiful and <laughs> i was just like all right <laughs> I was like, you got the white woman. It was like y'all are doing something, but yeah, I don't do well when I see people cry in any capacity. If I see somebody tearing up, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna have to step aside because I just put on some makeup. I don't need to be crying at all. It was it was the old black couple sitting beside me. The old black woman, you you could tell it was touching her. There was some kids in there, and I was just like, man, I love little black kids because yeah. they be talking shit. And they was yelling at the screen, but it was just like it's damn. what it will is it was what you needed for sure. <laughs> and he was like, damn, he really did, huh? <laughs> I was just like <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo. <laughs> oh, I'm like <laughs> Oh, oh god i'm like man i can't believe he just said that but i was like yeah little <laughs> man <laughs> it was just so much like little side comments like that and i was yeah. like ah it just makes you want to bring your little nieces and nephews to shit like this because they were just so hilarious but bro. that's what you miss those are the <laughs> i will say those are the little things that i miss about going to the theaters that you can't you you know that you can't really experience when you at home watching it by yourself per se this is you true. know what i mean so one crazy thing though because <laughs> they show like six previews oh damn. normally when i go to this same theater it is one preview and they into the movie while you still getting your popcorn Dang. i was like what is it about black panther i was i was counting because i got there early i was like i ain't missing a goddamn thing i was like they had six previews i was like they don't ever have six previews like what is this you know this shit was crazy interesting it was but boogie yes sir you know what time it is it's time to shout out folks who are doing good things i'm tipping my hat in the community we're tipping the hat who you tipping to i'm tipping my hat to finally broadway has done something correct and <laughs> <laughs> not to say that they don't do anything but just recognition on black and brown people it just goes so overlooked uh actress lena horn becomes the first black woman to have a broadway theater named in her honor so definitely want to tip my hat she's obviously Amazing. a legend um iconic figure in the world of theater and acting so yeah definitely want to tip my hat off to big that. ass facts and hot take actually not a hot take she's better than marilyn monroe better than marilyn monroe <sighs> you know i don't like to compare 
because there is no comparison when it comes to the 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 grace and the talent and skills of what we do so well so big ass facts i'm just saying all you goofies who be out here standing for you know marilyn monroe you know horn she got a theater feels like you're taking jabs at somebody specific does marilyn monroe have a theater i don't know but lena horn does (laughs) <laughs> that she does so tip my hat off for broadway for doing that who you got for tipping i am tipping my hat to none other than my north carolina central eagles they beat norfolk state yesterday to uh win the MEAC. they are now bowl eligible they are going to be going to uh atlanta for the celebration bowl which is a, a dope ass game MEAC versus swat where more than likely they are going to uh, be playing jackson state so shout out to uh the squad. Man, this uh, all yeah, this all sounds like gibberish to me. I don't know. It's nothing <laughs> about college ball. <laughs> Two black schools going against each other. Oh, okay. Gotcha. This gotcha. is the black bowl game, is what this oh, is. Okay. <laughs> all right. That that sounds so much better. In a world where it's mostly white football teams, this one chance is for the niggas. <laughs> You know, and it's in Atlanta. It's, it's in Atlanta, so this is okay. everything that niggas love. You know yes. what? Yeah. When, Triple when... entendre. <laughs> you remember in, uh, what's that song, uh, that group that Candy then was in? They was like, this is for the niggas. Strictly oh, for the niggas. yeah. <laughs> That's this bowl game. That is the celebration bowl. Like, and it's so dope was I went a couple years ago when Central went. Sadly, we did lose to Grambling. It was an epic game. But it was so dope to see so many people who didn't just go to Central or Grambling. You saw people from Southern, other HBCUs. It was just a collective of black people just there to see some dope ass HBCU football. Nice. So it was pretty cool. So shout out to, yeah. to Central. And shout out to Lena Horn and her, her family yeah. for getting shout that. Shout out. Deal. Yeah. Shout out to black people doing black, beautiful, excellent things. Black excellence. Sure. Boogie, is, uh, I think we got to add. Let's go pay these bills and we'll be right back. Let's. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm just over here polishing up my black watch. A lot of y'all know I'm an avid collector of watches. I got at least nine of them things in my collection and the one that I get the most compliments on has got to be my black watch. I got to tell y'all, black watches, they have really put a lot of time and detail into their product. I got to tell you, from the watch face all the way down to, to the band made of genuine leather. I know it's genuine, but I like seeing genuine. They really have outdone themselves. So, fellas, ladies, if you're looking to upgrade your watch style, definitely check out the good folks over there at Black Watches. They black-owned. You know you want to support a black-owned watch company. And because, you know, they rocking with the podcast, they, you know, hooked you guys up with a promo code. That's right, a promo code. that give you 20% off of your order when you head over to blackwatches.com. That's right, blackwatches.com, B-L-A-K, watches.com. And make sure you use that promo code, late night, W-N-A. Come on, support the Black Watches. Now back to the podcast. All right, the first time for news you can or can't use. Isaiah Thomas demands a public apology from Michael Jordan for his comments in The Last Dance. During an interview with NBA rights uh, holder Cosmo, Thomas said he demands a public apology from Michael Jordan following the release of the documentary The Last Dance. When I was watching The Last Dance, I'm sitting there and I'm watching it with my family and I'm thinking everything is good, Thomas recalled. And then this guy comes on television and he says that he hates me. Then he calls me an asshole. And then I proceeded to watch a whole documentary about being an asshole. I'm like, wait a minute, time out. Until I get a public apology, this beef is going gonna, is gonna to go on for a long, long time. Because I'm from the west side of Chicago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Nate asked me earlier... Hey, where, where is Isaiah from? I'm like, I don't know. He look like he's from the South Side. <laughs> well, he let you know. That's right. one thing about <laughs> that's one thing about Chicago. They'll let you know what side they from. 
with a quickness, man. That is one of the things I love about Chicago, especially doing shows, niggas, before they even get into their set. Let's see who's in here. <laughs> yep, that's what we do. And niggas tell you. But, man, it's crazy that Isaiah Thomas is upset about being called an asshole because both y'all niggas are assholes. I was like, just about to say that. <laughs> Like, come on, man. This is like the pot calling the kettle black here, bro. Like, we all know what it is, man. Like, I understandably, I get some of this beef with Isaiah is because you was kept off the dream team. And let's be real. That was some bullshit. We all know Isaiah Thomas should have been on that dream team team. But you weren't, bro. It happens. Let it go, dog. This is some shit that happened like, what, 30 years ago? And you are still upset about basketball. None of y'all niggas can still go out there and hoop. None of y'all niggas can still jump. Y'all are shooting flat-footed jump shots. Like, it is okay, bro. Both of y'all have won championships. And y'all are very successful. And y'all have tons of money. Like, nigga, just chill. Let it go. Isaiah won a championship? Uh, first of all, Boogie, don't don't shit on uh my my Detroit Pistons, my bad boy Pistons. We won oh. two. Oh my bad, my bad. Two my in bad. a row. My bad. Come on now, Boogie. My bad, my bad, dog. <laughs> my bad. I apologize. Um, but just to go along with what you said, they both give me asshole energy, and it's been proven <laughs> time and time again that Michael Jordan is definitely a jerk and an asshole. But Isaiah, to me, he always puts on this front that he's that goody, goody, goody two shoes, man, who has the great suit that will always stay in a suit. And regardless of what the occasion is, this nigga was he'd be in the the gym with the shoe. He's giving pastor (laughs) preacher and I'm I'm better than you. Uh, he's the the yeah. youth pastor that wears the like you said the suit with the the gym shoes in the church oh, annex. God. <laughs> That's oh him. god! I, yeah, and then he's I'm watching this with my family, and I'm sitting here, and he says that I am an asshole. You probably was an asshole at that time, especially um, you also <laughs> have to remember this was prime time Isaiah and Michael. Yeah. They were so cocky and confident. You thought they were cocky now. Boy, they have at least half the money that they have now. And they are still talking big shit. <laughs> I mean, let's let's just go back here and let's look at this. Okay. So the Pistons got they ass whooped by the Celtics. Okay. Larry Bird and them was whooping up on Isaiah and them. Okay. And Isaiah and them finally got over the hump, was able to beat the, the Celtics because they got old. Okay. Then what was going on? The Pistons, remember that the first couple of years Jordan was in the The Pistons was yeah. whooping Jordan's ass. Okay. Pistons won in 89 and 90 back-to-back championships. Then Jordan, after he got his ass whooped, they talk about it in uh, The Last Dance. Yeah. He had to bulk up the weight. Yeah. You know, He got some people to help him out. They got over the hump. And then, you know, the Pistons, as as I ride from my, my bad boy Pistons, y'all niggas did not shake their hands yeah. after y'all lost. Yeah. And y'all was putting Jordan on his ass all the time when he was going to the hoop. Mm-hmm. Of course he's going to say you're an asshole. Come on, bro. Yeah. Who wouldn't say that? Also, kudos to them for always, always f- just understanding the 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 term of discipline you talking about somebody who will forever have a grudge oh yeah (laughs) what a honorable way to live your life when you are upset or pissed about somebody you gonna forever put that in your black book yep that's gonna be wow (laughs) these both of these and if you're looking for an apology from michael jordan you're never gonna get it never you're never gonna get it Michael Jordan is going to light 80 million cigars and he's he gonna be laughing. He's just gonna he's keep gonna, laughing. He's gonna at light you. 80 million c- cigars. He's gonna have jaundice in the <laughs> eyes. Your man will never, he will be on his deathbed and he will never <laughs> give you an apology, my man. Michael Jordan's eyes will turn white before he apologizes. 
Michael Jordan will wear regular straight leg jeans before <laughs> before he apologizes, telling them dad. <laughs> Steve Harvey edition. The day that Michael Jordan wears regular size jeans, that's gonna be the day racism is finally <laughs> over. It's just gonna be like, oh, the shit is finally ended. Like, oh, I God. feel like Isaiah Thomas is gonna be on his deathbed. Like, fuck Michael Jordan. Those are gonna be his last words because he's not. Ne- you're never gonna get that apology, bro. Yeah, on like, both ends. Just and uh, dare I say, I'll even put Charles Barkley in the mix yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> let me just add that. <laughs> let me add that one in too. These two, Charles Barkley and Jordan, been going back and forth publicly for so damn long. You talk about the most dug in niggas ever. <laughs> it's like, they're not changing. Like these are the two. Like, look, I said what I said, and that's it. Like, I'm sure Michael Jordan is somewhere laughing right now when he saw this. He was just like pouring another glass of that henny, and was just like, "This nigga here." Like it ain't ever gonna happen. Like, bro, just just let it go, man. Just let it go. You know, I wouldn't mind rewatching the last dance just from the front of I wanna get this perspective of how like I really wanna sit in of how arrogant Michael Jordan is. The fact that it wasn't it wasn't just about the last dance. This documentary <laughs> was literally about Michael Jordan and how he felt about everybody. <laughs> literally everyone. He he had a laundry list. He was like, "Yeah, Horace Grant, don't fuck with that bitch ass nigga." <laughs> he was just like, he was, "I was like, wait a second, coach didn't is talk this, to me." Right. I was like, "Wait a second, is this about the team or is this?" Just that was his therapy is. session. He his therapist was like, oh, "You know what, Michael?" He was like, "Just write everything down and then videotape yourself and and just let it out." He but, said, "I'm gonna do one better. <laughs> I'm gonna release it." <laughs> What makes money off this? You know oh what? My God. Isaiah Thomas just needs to make a bad boys documentary and he'd be like, and in the time, but this for bitch ass Michael Jordan. He'd be like, yeah, we was laying his ass out all the time. Just just make your own documentary, bro. Just that's all you got to do. Yeah, it's only going to be popular ESPN. in Detroit. So, <laughs> first of all, that bad boy 30 for 30 was amazing. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see it. So. <laughs> The real ones did. <laughs> yeah, the real ones only located in Detroit, in Detroit surrounding areas. That's what. That's okay. That, that may be true. They probably did see a spike in their numbers. They was like, well, why is it that in the state of Michigan? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sure it was a good, I'm sure it was a good special. But <laughs> like, just like, um, what was it? The, what was the Michigan four? Fantastic oh, the other uh, Fab four. Five. Yeah, whatever. Fab Five. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like the Fab Four. <laughs> I mean, realistically, and I'm not trying to shit on them, but it's it's like Jawan Howard, Jalen Rose, Chris Webber, and I can never know. I the other two niggas, I'm just like, yeah, who? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Not to say they're not flourishing and doing whatever the hell they're doing in their lives, but I'm just saying at this point, we all know who the the names of the squads are. The name of, you know, the real big names. And that's partly because they're still in entertainment in some form of fashion, but yeah. Jimmy I, King yeah, and who? Ray Jackson. Jimmy okay. King and Ray Jackson. Okay. <laughs> I just Googled it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just it's like the, the big three and then the mother niggas. Just, that's that's kind of how. Unfortunately, Shaq you know. Shaq will forever. Sha- Shaquille messed me up when he was like the others. When he was like <laughs> it's it, it's the franchise players and then there's the others. Imagine if you're the others though. Just imagine I, how I shitty care. that feels. I would love to be an other. I mean that's true in the grand scheme of things when you think about how much you're getting paid like yeah that, but, that but is. also this one i also want to add this as well you guys are not just the others you guys are the others of the premium like let's this is true let's let's reel that in real quick because this is less than one percent of basketball players that actually get drafted to play on the nba so just being an this nba is, is a is a gift in itself now you got to compete with Chat. other more, <laughs> more gifted niggas, even more gifted niggas. And then you realize, oh, I'm the of the gifted. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> you know what that's like? That's got to be the equivalent of niggas at the Y, and you're just like, I'm just here for just a little pickup, and you got college niggas at the Y. That's probably what yeah. niggas in the NBA feel like. It's like, yeah. I got to go up and get Shaq and Kobe every day. And them the niggas that really be earning their paychecks. Like, them niggas be earning that paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> What like you talking about work when people be like, man, I just this ain't work. I just gotta play the game. Like, Y'all nah. gotta that's a big <laughs> ass lie. You're getting posterized by Shaq every goddamn day. Nuts <laughs> in your face. What I know them niggas about? was like, when is game day? Because I'm tired of him dunking on me. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like when uh niggas was talking shit about uh what Brian Scalabrini and they was like, Oh, you suck. And he was like, All right, where, where y'all at? Like, let me pull up. And he went to the Y and cooked all of them. Exactly. That's <laughs> what I was that's what I'm saying. Like, I can't stand when people who I like I understand sports analysts uh who live and studied the game, but you can't say somebody is trash only only comparative to the players. <laughs> that are actually in the league. But you can't say, personally, you can't say, well, I think they're trash. When you have never stepped on the court and done yep. any of that hustle and work that was put in just to get to where they are now. Big ass facts. Like, my guy, if you didn't play collegiately, like, yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't count. Like, them yeah. 20 points you put up in that one game of high school, that was great, but yeah. it doesn't matter. It's like when niggas be like, man, stand up is easy. And I'd be like, all right. Go up there. <laughs> Have fun at it. Have at it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how long you can last, buddy. No, no, no. Just, like, just do just do five minutes. Just do five. Let's see. Man. Just do five. They Let's can't even do two. <laughs> yeah. Let's see Dude, how give me a hot you. two. <laughs> Have fun with that, buddy. But uh yeah, Isaiah, just just let it go, man. Let it let it go, bro. Like, just just come on. Uh, just let it go. But Anyways, Boogie, we got another ad. Yep. Let's get to it. Hey, y'all. We're going to take a quick pause from this episode to tell you about our next sponsor, Rose Vogue Styling. Let Rose Vogue Styling help you change the way you see yourself. Their mission is to empower you to build your confidence and look fly while doing it. Mm. They offer personal styling, shopping, and closet auditing. They need to come to my closet because it's a hot ass mess, okay? They also have an online boutique store full of pieces that will give your outfit life and have you looking right. Pieces like earrings, that's what I have on now, here, right here, necklaces, purses, rings, just to name a few, okay? Right now, our subscribers, our listeners, our watchers, you, 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 you can get 20% off when you use the code late night, okay? L-A-T-E-N-I-T-E. -E. Go on over to their IG. It's Rose Vogue Styling, at Rose Vogue Styling. Um, easy. Everybody knows that, okay? Let Rose Vogue Styling style you for your next event or simply just help you enhance the pieces that you already have in your closet. Wow. Style is a choice. Upgrade yours with Rose Vogue Styling. Again, you can get 20% off if you use our code late night, okay? L-A-T-E-N-I-T-E. -E. Support a black business, okay? Support us. When you support them, you're supporting us, okay? Now let's get back to the show. All right, topic number two. Twitter Blue is giving Elon Musk fits. Uh, it's been reported earlier that uh, it will cost you $8 to uh, be verified while they are letting some notable celebs keep their blue check without paying, but they will not receive an official gray check on their account until they pay the $8 as well. What's crazy about this is there have been people who have been paying $8 for that verified check and they have been creating fake accounts. Mm. Fake accounts uh, of such celebrities like DJ Academics and LeBron James. There was a tweet that came out from LeBron or fake LeBron that said, I am officially requesting a trade. Thank you, hashtag Lakers Nation, for all the support through the years. 100 on to bigger and better things. The kid from Akron, I'm coming home. Allegedly from the uh, academics, uh, little baby really mad because I effed Jada. And there have been several other crazy tweets. There was one with uh, Nintendo, with uh, Super Mario, who gave the middle finger to folks. 
a lot of other uh crazy tweets one from ron DeSantis, a fake ron DeSantis page that talked about killing uh a lot of floridians through COVID. this is is uh it's pretty crazy it's pretty wild that people are able to do this uh, i'm not surprised i mean what do you expect this man wanted um elon he he promoted uh, you know more freedom more jokes <laughs> Uh, I, I finally get to release the humor back into Twitter. Okay. Wh- this is what you get. People paying $8 to get a blue check mark and to name it whatever they, <laughs> their, their handle, whatever they want. And this is, this is what you get. And it's causing havoc because you know, there are people out here who are believing these, these fake accounts left and right. How many people did you think that was like, LeBron's coming back to Cleveland. I wish I never burned my jersey. How many people <laughs> do you think have been sent off by some of these? Like, it is just crazy to think that you uh, that you can allow people to do stuff like this. And and you know what's crazy is you know how I know people are believing this because people believe the fake accounts back in the day that were parodies. Yeah, the whole purpose of making sure people know the difference between it being a parody and it being real was giving people verified accounts. That's how we yeah. knew this was from. The actual person or yeah. their representative yeah i you know i um people uh, people need to learn how to remove themselves from social media sometimes because we are clearly consumed so much that anything posted anything tweeted anything reposted or added to any f- social media platform You know, people hold it true, hold it to be true. And this is another example of maybe regulating social media platforms may be a good thing. Granted, I know, granted, I know you don't want, you know, governments to our governments to to say, well, this is acceptable and this is what what isn't acceptable. But rules need to be in place in order for dumb people not to do dumb shit. I agree. I don't necessarily know if it needs to be the government needs to do it. Somebody. But Elon, the people who run these social media platforms, yeah, they need to do it. Like, you can't just let people run amok like this because some of these, and I, I don't know if these are fake, but some of these could have dangerous uh, con- uh, consequences for some of these people. Of course. You just never know how, how serious someone who's looking at this is like, oh shit, he, he said you know some foul shit i'm gonna go after this. you never know what could happen you just never know you could lose your job for some of this you just never know Someone let's, get be these, a let's get these lawsuits left and right let's get these lawsuits coming out how about that like i just i'm ready to to start putting people's money where their mouth is because clearly a lot of people like to talk mess but can they back it up no they cannot <laughs> That's been shown. I feel like, do you think Elon's trying to tank Twitter? Do you think that was his whole purpose of of buying this? Yeah, I'm gonna buy Twitter for four billy real quick just to tank it. I mean, he's firing people. He said they're potentially on the verge of bankruptcy. He's let. I mean, since he took over, the use of the N word went up five hundred percent. So I mean. Uh. <laughs> It, Twitter is, and you know, it's not us. We we use it enough, but five hundred percent. It wasn't yeah. us that was on there doing it. They were like, "Thank God, here we go." <laughs> ah! They couldn't wait to type, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga. They was finding all types of ways. What is nigger in Spanish? <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> it's just like, man. Um. Oh, it's crazy, man. It's just also people got a lot of time on their hands that you're paying eight dollars to cause a, a ruckus like this. Like, there's better yeah. uses my eight dollars than than to do that. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm always like, how much is gonna cost me? I don't care how much it is. Everything, everything costs, and it'll add up. I'm not paying eight dollars to get a verified blue check. Not on Twitter. I don't be on Twitter that much. I'm sorry. I I get on Twitter. To read about uh, possible scandals, <laughs> uh, news uh, per se, 
and um a couple news yeah. I'll, I'll you know i'll pull up the new but i but again i'm going for reputable yeah handles now I don't know which handle is, <laughs> is reputable. Seriously. You know, I need people to be like, look, they need to put like, this is the real verified blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, need I no can't check mark. when people do that. I remember when Instagram uh, just popped out and everybody was like, this is the official. They handles like official <laughs> this. The real this. Man, if you just put your name and get a blue check. <laughs> the only i was like yeah because right. how many other people <laughs> got your name out here like it's right. just the weirdest shit i don't know right. i mean i feel like celebrities they gotta just you gotta get creative with your handle now to let people know this is you like yeah that's really what it is because we don't know but yeah that was that was lebron that was him but do better yeah. elon do better twitter they, they really do need to do better <laughs> Yet we have no edit button. You can't edit. You can't edit your tweets or anything. But you can pay eight dollars to be verified. The shit uh, is just as get it together backwards. Boogie, yes sir. It's time. I feel it. I feel it on the inside. It's time because a lot of niggas who are tripping. It is time for y'all niggas are tripping. Huh, niggas tripping. You know, Boogie. This was just just wild and just i couldn't believe it when i saw this but also uh, i kind of was like you know what i can't believe it because you know niggas be tripping uh yeah. man, man kevo he ended up getting a tattoo that said uh you know white lives matter and he got uh, a lot of white men tattooed on him you know he got uh mark zuckerberg tattooed on him let me see who else um he had tatted on himself it's just wild to think that you led with the white lives matter and then you got your daddy's tattooed on you you know you got it's just insane to me uh so yeah it shows white lives matter it's got zuckerberg on his leg um he's also got two other white men on his leg I, it looks like john travolta but i, I can't see because something's covered it up but it's just weird it's just weird that you would go to such a length to it's like bro Mark ain't inviting you to the Facebook cookout. He ain't inviting you to the Christmas party. It doesn't matter. Even if Mark Zuckerberg is not a racist, other white people still don't like you. What is the point? What mm. is the point? This is this is like that free thinking shit. Air quotes. These are the free thinkers. This is you know he's gonna try to spin it. Is there some deep meaning behind putting you know white lives matter on on your fucking your fucking body like bro come on like and i'm not even gonna get into the whole the meaning of black lives and yes all night i'm not even gonna get into it because everybody knows those talking points this right here is just stupid who just, is band man uh, band man kevo can somebody who is rapper. that okay he's a rapper okay he's a rapper remember remember we did a story on him he was one of the dudes he got lipo you know he was paying to get lipo ah, ah. Ah, yeah. got you, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah. We okay, do, so he's a he's a bad bitch right now. He's trying to get his baddie body together, and yeah. you know these are ingredients to a, a baddie body for rappers: is tat your whole body up, get swole, get some chicklets in your mouth, <laughs> stay 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 with chains, stay chained up, and you know get random tattoos. So. I'm not surprised whatsoever. Listen, I can automatically see just from this little picture that I, I am appearing at, uh, that that I'm looking at right now. He's probably a short man, and um, you know he needs a gimmick. He needs a gimme. He needs something to get people watching, people uh, talking, and this is what he wanted to do. So smart I got man, um... smart man, smart man here. I got the uh, the full list of people who are on there. Uh, okay. Donald Trump, Elon gotcha. Musk, the MAGA hat, White Lives Matter. Uh, we saw uh, Zuckerberg on there. So yeah, there's, um, he's pulling a he's pulling a, a six nine. He's pulling a know. six nine. He's pulling a six nine, and uh, it's just sad that you gotta you have to sacrifice your skin and flesh to to become whatever you want to become uh 
I, you know, no. I'm tired of talking about these goofies. I'm tired of talking about these goofies. You know, I, I, I wish and hope they get whatever they want. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm on Twitter right now. I typed his name in, and he's. If you type in his name, it says Bandman Kevo BBL. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> yeah, he gotta be. He got a BBL. He's a baddie. Listen, he wanted the baddie body. Uh... And he, got it. he was honest about it, and he did it. Listen, he's I knew he had got gotcha. <laughs> He's trying to get his body right. He's trying to. He's trying to. You know. I knew he got the abs, but <laughs> the BBL though. Okay. Or they say Drake got fake abs too. I mean, I've been in the gym a lot, my damn self. But I'm not going to fake the fake ab route. I'm just going to do it the hard, the, the regular way. If I'm so blessed to have, I just want two. I just need two. But who you got, Boogie? You you'll get that too. You'll I appreciate I appreciate your support in my my two abs. Hopefully there there's some I want them in the middle, not at the top or at the bottom, just in the middle. So when people people see me at the beat, they'd be like, "Huh, I've never seen two abs just in the middle." I, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> my God, my you niggas is tripping. Ah, I mean it, it. It has to be said. It's dare I? <laughs> do, you know what I mean? Like I feel like this has been a joke throughout this whole campaign but you know now i want to bring it up because this is ridiculous herschel walker herschel walker former Man. football player Her Her herschel walker is in a runoff right now in a runoff in georgia right now if you can believe with <laughs> the Dem <laughs> with the democratic uh party choice Raphael warnock because people decided to vote for this man oh my god he's they are both like herschel is like at 48 percent and and Raphael is uh is at 49 percent and they they it's going wild. back and forth uh, to me i you know y'all niggas is tripping i want to go i want to throw it off to herschel walker as well as georgia y'all Y'all got your tube, I don't know, your, your heads, you got screws loose or something. I don't know what's going on with Georgia. Clearly, Atlanta probably was like, we did our job. But everywhere <laughs> else, everywhere else, I don't know what's going on. Literally, Atlanta did what they were supposed to do. 80 was 84% of black men voted for Stacey Abrams. We had, yeah. a, a, what, 90 over more than that for black women that voted for Stacey Abrams, and she still lost. Yeah, so I'm, come on. I'm done. Black black women, we good. Yeah. We don't. We've done our job. We <laughs> will continue to do our job. This, we know it's what everybody it is in else. Georgia. Yeah, we know. People forget Georgia is not Atlanta. <laughs> it's not just Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta needs to be its own state, <laughs> like right. Atlanta and then Georgia. Like that's literally what it should be. It's just, yeah. it blows my mind that the person who is a reverend who is about equality, who's about morality and doing the right thing and who wants to help people is in a runoff or a complete idiot. It just like blows my mind. The clear choice is there for who is the best person. But the fact that there's so many white people who want to vote against their own best interest by putting in uh, Herschel Walker, it just blows my mind. Yeah. And then Crazy. just to, just to add more fuel to the, the fire, the Libertarian Party got 2.1%. So y'all just, <laughs> y'all don't have a clue <laughs> what's going on with the, light, with the world right now. They was just, let me just throw these these little votes on here for y'all. Because it's just like, wow. wow, 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 wow. Like, I'm, I'm just... I gotta say this though, the memes have been hilarious though. Like the one where Herschel Walker thought it was an actual race. Like <laughs> he thought he was gonna have to run for real. Like that is just like Yeah, the picture that I posted is of him. If if people are listening in, I posted the picture of him, and you guys have heard it, of this man was at the the debate, at a debate, yeah. and pulled out a badge. Party City USA, baby. This idiot here said, "Yeah, I yeah, I'm I'm part of the I'm part of the troops. I'm part of you know, the team. I'm part of the police." <laughs> that was a part of his Halloween costume. He was, like, "I'm gonna say this for the debate." He was like, 
You know, that's like when when oh, people are like donors to like the police department and shit, and they give you like one of those. Oh, this is a yeah, free them card. Honorary ass, but yeah, that's, that's what this is. This is like you can put out a toy badge and was like, see, told you. <laughs> it's like, it's like bro, like it is just. He didn't even show up for one of the debates. If I'm if I'm Reverend Warnock, I would just be like, I'm I'm just like, you know, I want to win, but if I don't win, I'd be like, you niggas get what you deserve. And it ain't the niggas, yeah. but it's like y'all Literally, get what you deserve. Like this, dust like, your hands off and walk away. <laughs> At this point, like nobody will <laughs> like save you. Like Florida, Florida, Texas, and Georgia. Georgia. Y'all yeah. can all go burn in hell all I care. Like Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> but you know who's punching the air right now, though? Uh, turtleneck Mitch McConnell, though. He's out here just mad because he's no longer the, the leader, majority he's leader out. or whatever. So it's just like he was doing a, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know, it's just like, I just don't know. These are those things where I'm just like, it's, it's one of those things where I guess they said now it doesn't matter who wins this election, but obviously we want Reverend Warnock to win, but it's just like, I'm I'm of the the ilk of just let Herschel get in there. Let him get in there. It's, all, it's like, this is what y'all want. Let the shit get so goddamn bad. And then, then we, we could just Trump. be like, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. And, and it got bad and people still voted for him so you're right you know what let's just never mind let's just let's take that let's just strike that from the so they're gonna be like hey this guy's not so bad after all <laughs> i was gonna be like we elected the dumbest dude in the world who does nothing for us it's a bunch of georgia fans who are probably like, oh that boy was running the ball back in there he won a heisman trophy i got to vote the heisman trophy winner in here that's what them people are probably thinking not thinking what did, he's not what did you say him. what did you say uh before we were recording that uh Herschel Walker used to play football <laughs> with the <Yeah>. left <laughs> Clayton English said Herschel Walker used to play football when they had leather helmets <laughs> I was like he's right I was like this nigga cannot properly put two sentences together and this no. is who you want to represent you like come on man even if you're going to put someone in who's of trash morals and just trash thought process in general, at least be like, okay, he's trash, but he's educated. You're putting in someone who's who's dumb as hell and he's trash. He's not not only dumb as hell, he clearly <laughs> is suffering from CTE and nobody wants to get a brain scan oh. for this man. <laughs> Nobody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whenever they scan his brain, it's gonna be more than fucking CTE on his goddamn brain. It's just like, God damn. Plot twist though. Do you think his son is going if he wins? Because you know his son came out and was like, oh, he ain't a good dad. Do you do you think if he wins, his son's gonna be like, he's great? Well, that check, do you think that check is gonna clear? How, how do you think this is gonna play out? I don't know. That's a good question. His son looked like he's ready for uh, uh, his big break too. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that might that might be, <laughs> things might change. So, homie says some wild stuff, boy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Georgia, just you know what? I, I gotta. I don't like to 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 quote him often, but I just gotta. I gotta let you know the great Boosie. Just this is how I'm feeling about um, Georgia. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Like, that's how I feel right now, Georgia. Like, come on, man. Do better. Like, do better. Do better. <sighs> okay, let's get to this final ad, and we'll be right back. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on, y'all? A lot of y'all hit me up like, Nate, you super chill. You know, you super laid back all the time. Brother, you gotta be on something. Well, y'all are right. I'm off them chummies edibles. And y'all know me. Y'all know I'm a smoker. I don't really mess with the eddies like that. Because let's be real, a lot of them are hit or miss. There's either no juice or you're feeling like a zombie. The good folks over there at Chummies, well, they out here trying to change the edible game. And I got to tell you, they got some phenomenal products. They sent me over uh, some of their traditional edibles and man, them things are hitting. 
but they don't only got edibles. They got juice. They got uh, your gummies. They got your chocolate bars. Whatever you like, they got it. Y'all, do me a favor. Go over to their Instagram page. It's chummies underscore edibles. And get yourself some good stuff. And when you're out there, you know, filling up your cart, make sure you use that promo code 21 chummy. That's right. They rocking with the podcast. And because they rocking with us, they rocking with y'all. So they're going to take care of y'all by giving y'all 10% off of your first order. So again, use that promo code 21 chummy to get 10% off your edibles. All right, y'all. Let's get back to the podcast. It's the the final topic. This is a funny one. (laughs) National Park Service has issued a warning telling people to refrain from licking psychedelic toads. The National Park Service has warned guests to stay clear of the Sonoran Desert Toad, also known as the Colorado River Toad or Bolufovarius. Bufalovarius. Yeah, I don't know. You try it. Yep, yep, yep. The toad in question is the largest in the U.S. at seven inches. They are also recognized by their short, weak, low-pitched toot. As we say, with most things you come across in national parks, whether it is a banana slug, an unfamiliar mushroom, or a large toad with glowing eyes in the dead of night, please refrain from wicking. Didn't know you had to actually tell people that. It says the particular toad species was described as secreting toxins that could harm humans if consumed or touched. Recently, guests of the National Park have been running the risk of poisoning while seeking out a five me what it says five meo demon. I don't know. And bufatin found in the frog, something in the frog's venom. Uh, it's something scientific found in the frog's venom, which produces psychedelic effects. So in the past, Christina Hall of HGTV acknowledged smoking toad venom to ease anxiety. Smoking the Bufo toad venom is life changing experience and a different and is different for every person. It can be summed up in a post Hall said it's it basically reset my brain and kicked out all of my years of anxiety in 15 minutes. According to the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency. 5 meo dmt and bufotenin are considered controlled substances who knew what the hell first things first i don't want to smoke anything that is going to reset my brain in 15 minutes I, I just I don't know because what happens after the reset? Do I come back as adult Nate or am I like reset? Like game is over. We playing from the beginning, like child Nate. Like what are we doing here? Yeah, this is a uh, this is strange. But you know what? It doesn't surprise me. Once again, these are people <laughs> that are willing to get high off of licking toads. Uh. Yeah. At, at this point, you need help. You like you've gone beyond. You've you've gone beyond <laughs> MDA and other psychedelics, and was like, I need something else. So this is strong enough. <laughs> right, I need something better, stronger. Yo, you need help. Let's just call it what it is. These people are crackheads. <laughs> They're uh, just searching for something. God. They're just searching for, for something a little bit stronger. You might as well just do crack. Like you might as well just do crack. And I'm not saying do crack, but if you're looking for the highest psychedelics, you might as well do crack. Again, don't do crack. <laughs> Gotta put that out there. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, it doesn't surprise me, but I know. Those forest uh, national people were like, National Park <laughs> Service people was like, I'm sorry, I got to do this. But Here to go again. <sighs> Please do not lick the toads. You know how many times they have to do this? They're just like, Ugh. I wonder how those numbers go up. It's probably like uh, for every summer, it's like, oh, 200 victims. 
300 victims or whatever. It's like, ah, this is the best year yet. We only had 15 victims. I wonder if it's like every year they just like, they count it like that. I was like, we're striving for 15 victims. Is that a brand new record? It's just weird to me. Like every year they got to come up with, you know what? Probably in those areas, they have like the dumbest commercials where people are like, why the fuck is this on commercial? And then you're just like, because people are out here licking toads. There's probably a commercial with a toad that's hopping through the forest. Like, hey, if you see me hopping around, just let me keep on going. Don't lick me because you could not. It's probably some shit like that. It's probably a commercial that is like that because why? And not only the toads, though, but they said, hey, mushrooms and or banana slugs. Don't lick them. So apparently they're just licking everything in these national parks. Like yeah, this is y'all, y'all like if you yeah, just smoke weed. Just, yeah, just, just go. Weed. What happened to doing regular, <laughs> regular drugs? Remember? <laughs> Remember that? Literally. Regular drugs. <laughs> regular drugs. Remember that? This is just like like damn this is the hard stuff like god damn like y'all can't just do regular shrooms y'all gotta be like i need to lick these toads banana slugs like come on bro i don't ever want to be that high though and yeah, i have no no like, i have, i have tried to be like okay let's see how high can you get and you you know you fall asleep like after your, your third blunt or whatever and just like that's as high as i can get three blunts these people have been like i'm 10 in how much further can i go even even when you accidentally get too high, <laughs> I make it a point to note how much I took. <laughs> to be like, never doing that much again. You are so right. Like everyone has that negative Eddie experience where they they clearly say on the pack, "Don't eat the whole thing," but your dumbass eats the whole thing, and you're like, "I'm never eating the whole thing again." These people clearly are just like they've ate the whole thing and then ate two, three more. Because there's no way I, I want to get this is the stuff that I felt like I don't know if you I, I forgot what podcast it was on Snoop Dogg was talking to people were like you smoke room, moon rocks and he looked scared he was like fuck no nah, moon rocks that's like crack and anything that makes Snoop Dogg afraid to smoke I'm like I don't want to do that this is what this I'm is steer away from I'm gonna steer away from exactly Snoop Dogg was said it best he was like <laughs> well he ain't saying I'm telling you this is what I think he said he was like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I like Man. weed. I'm gonna smoke weed. That's it. <laughs> like I just and the poor frogs. The poor frog they just out here hopping, just trying to mind their goddamn business and living their best uh, life. Just get I picked just, up like what the hell? I'm also okay. trying to figure out <laughs> what ancient like book did you find to to get these these they remedies? They watched it like, on a they watched <laughs> it on a cartoon. He's just like, hey man, these toads. Like, I just Rick and Morty was licking frogs. Oh, okay. That's, that's, I, I just want us to do better. I just want us to do better. Like, just I'm stick to them. your regular. No, go ahead, go ahead, fuck yourself up. Go lick, lick them <laughs> frogs, lick them toads, buddy. Toad licker. I just, I just, I could just imagine like the the forest rangers putting up like little signs on trees and shit, like. Don't lick the toads. I, I can just see it. Like I, I can. It just, it's just wow. Common sometimes, sense ain't common. Yeah, this one. Sometimes I just wish animals could just really speak our language, so the toad could just be like, "Hey, my man, put me down. <laughs> you can't be licking up on me. I don't know what you that toad did." That's what it should be because maybe they'll be like, oh my God, I'm high. I read the frog is talking. I'm putting this down. That's what it should. I feel like God should have let animals, you you have the power to talk during certain situations and this should be it. Like if you in the jungle I mean, or whatever. I they do talk, but we just can't understand that true. language. This is they true. They talk all the time. Animals <laughs> be talking hella shit probably. Like look at these, look at these little ass. It makes me wonder. If like when you go on nature walks, if they be sending signals to the other, like they they here, they out here, like oh yeah, they 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 out here like pure squally twelve 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 ah. Low key, that's probably what the what the hogs be shouting. They let all the little the homies on yeah. the ground. Like, I ain't gonna eat you right now. I gonna let you alert you that the right. peoples is here. Right, they out here. <laughs> they was like, ah, 
I'm honestly surprised niggas don't be doing They probably do, because New York is a wild place. Like the, the calls that niggas do when the police be out, it is just Yo, like <laughs> unbelievable. And then you expect me, if I was a cop, to be like, now they don't know that I'm here. Like, come on, y'all. <laughs> All these noises they be doing. <laughs> Come on, yo! Stop. And it's just like, and what if, what if you, what if you, what if you knew on the block, and you just, you ain't been updated on the call. You waiting for a certain call. You're like, I didn't get <laughs> your ass get locked up. Like you got to like, be didn't like, didn't you, didn't you hear? Oh, you, 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 you are here with the meat. <laughs> we changed hootie who to caca now. Come on, yo! You should know this by now. That's why you got to be Stand on time up. at the clubhouse. Right, you got to be, you got to, you got to be a little bit more responsible than that. Now, we, now look at you. You in the pen now for a week. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to be five minutes late. It was the meet. funniest shit. When I seen them on the wire, and they, I was like, oh, they actually got meetings. <laughs> like, yeah, they do. <laughs> I was like, it just blew my mind. I was like, oh, this is these niggas is organized. <laughs> it was just yeah, like, they are really organized. They got a nigga taking minutes. Like, all right, <laughs> here are the notes. <laughs> like... <laughs> Grammar off to the motherfucker. Man, those niggas like this is chicken scratch. It's like, why don't we let the nigga that can count right? <laughs> At one fifteen, he said we should <laughs> ride down on them niggas. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, well stop looking toads, y'all. <laughs> just... Yo, like for real, please stop. Like stop it. Oh man, shout mm-hmm. out to the No Sleep crew. We appreciate you uh for tuning in yet yeah, again for funny. another dope ass episode. Um, let's see what we got for people. We, oh, um, we're off for the next two yeah. weeks because the holiday season yes. is approaching. So y'all can catch up on this episode and previous episodes. We'll check y'all folks out in December. What you got, Boogie? Absolutely, and in December, please. Remember before we actually take this break to go ahead and smash that bell notification so you can get the content and know when exactly we're back so you can so you can start listening and watching back up. So yeah. Shout out to SoundCloud. You hold us down. I just got to shout y'all out every week because y'all be holding us down. So I appreciate y'all. Boogie, I ain't got nothing else for the peoples. I'm good too. Well, this has been another dope ass episode of Late Night with Nate. I'm your boy, Nate Gallagher. And I'm Adrian Brandyberg. And we up out of here. Bye, y'all.